Hey everybody, happy Saturday before Christmas. I hope that your day is uh, relaxed and you're enjoying this time with your family, counting your blessings over the last year. I am trying to do that, but I admit it's a little harried. Uh, my granddaughter Hazel was uh, sick or needing um, cuddle time this week and not so much something that they could provide in in her daycare. So she she was here, my mom and my niece and I tag teamed while my daughter worked. And so we we did have had some cuddle time, had some had some just special time with her and counting her as as a blessing. Absolutely. Um I am woefully behind on the Christmas videos that I had planned to do this season and I had to just count that as it's just part of life. And I have a feeling that you all probably understand and have experienced the same thing in your own lives, if not right now, at different times. But I am going to come to, the, come to you as often as I can with some short videos on what I have been doing and what I am doing, I have done this season to... Um, uh, crafting wise, I I've shown you the ornaments that I've made and today I want to show you something that I did with Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription. It's a kit, all-inclusive kit that comes to your door as a surprise each month and I dearly love it. As I travel for my day job, it's great to grab these kits and take them with me because I know I've got everything with me when I go. I just need some scissors, maybe some additional adhesive and a clear block. Now the first month of your subscription you do get a clear block with your kit and it's the right size for the stamps um, every single month. Um, you're left with um, usually some extra supplies and then a stamp set and an ink spot that you can use for other project projects as well. So the November kit was Christmas cards and I'm going to change my screen around and show you what I did. I followed the basically the examples that Rachel Oh, I believe it's called, pronounced Tessman, provided that she took the supplies for 10 cards and turned them into 40. That's a phenomenal. She added minimal supplies. And um, I followed her example. I'm going to show them to you. I made a few tweaks to make them, make them a little more me. But, um, but basically, you know, a lot of us that are, I don't know, um, creative um, consider ourselves um, able to look at a white piece of cardstock and create something from it. Now, I'm not really one of those. I, I case most of my ideas. I copy um, from from other very talented individuals all the time in my crafting. Um, but um, so we we shy away from the kits sometimes because we think that it's too it's it's just it's too basic. And um, I felt like what Rachel showed us to do here was a little bit beyond. So I wanted to show you that example to say that, hey, don't discount getting a kit in the mail and think that you can't be creative. Because one, it's a great opportunity to get together with your friends and have a very social time creating. You leave with a product every month. Um, and it, it is a lot of fun. I've been a subscriber now since the beginning. With I, mean, I did miss a few months somewhere in the middle, but for, gosh, I can't even think now how many years. Five years, I think, that Paper Pumpkin has been going on, and I've been a subscriber most of that time. So um, let me show you what Rachel did and, um, and tell you a little bit about some of the things that, some of the other things that I want to show you um, these last few days before Christmas. So let me switch the camera. Boy, it's been, I'm so shy. I'm so um, out of practice here. I don't know what I need to show you. I think it's this one. Yep. And then go back over here. Oh, no, it didn't do it right. Dad got it. Bear with me. Um, oh, and I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb, which is going to cause a problem. Nuts. All right, let me make sure that I'm showing what I think I'm showing because I think I've done something wrong here. So I'm just going to look at my iPad and see. Um, shoot. I think it froze. No, maybe not. Alright, it's going, but it's not showing what I want it to show. So how do I do that? 
I should be. Oh, oh I, didn't, I remember. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, switch to this. There we go. One single little step. All right. Okay, that's better. So now you are looking at 40 cards, right, that I've made. So let me let me show you what came in the kit. So in the kit came the supplies to make these two these two um, cards. So it came with the, the twine. I love this twine. The crumb cake color was introduced in the holiday catalog. And then this exclusive cherry cobbler color was in this month's the November paper pumpkin. Um, now, paper pumpkin is, you, you get a surprise every month with paper pumpkin. You're never quite sure whether it's going to be a project or it's going to be cards. Um, and if there are supplies after the subscriptions have been filled, Stampin' Up! will offer uh, refill kits. And there were none <laughs> for November. And December sold out before it even shipped. So that's uh, that's pretty exciting, a good problem to have, I'd say. But So you got the, the 10 crumb cake card bases and the designer series paper. So 10 sheets of that. Uh, the vellum circles the labels for you to stamp your greeting, and then the uh, die-cut um, pine pieces and sequins. I feel like I'm leaving out something. there. So there were some large sequins and some small sequins and envelopes. So every envelope had this beautiful lining with it. So what Rachel added were a pack of vanilla envelopes, because I don't know that you can see, but um, the paper, the designer series paper, is vanilla. Now the labels were, were whisper white, so you could certainly mix this up however, however you like with vanilla or white. Um, but she added vanilla envelopes and some vanilla cardstock and the metallic sequins and then turned the supplies for 10 cards into 40 cards. With, they're, just, they're just beautiful and they're simple and today I'm going to be addressing Christmas cards and I'm going to be sending some of these. So um, she kind of divided it out by saying, okay, so she used the supplies for two cards to make this set of 10, two cards to make this set of 10, supplies for two cards to make this set of 10, and then this set of 10 as well, 10, 20, 30, 40, yeah. So um, let me just show them now. Um, so this we used a vanilla card base, some of the pine die cuts. This uh, strip was um, one of the stickers, for, uh, the stickers from um, the supplies cut in half. And then I added this little gemstone to mine. And then of course the vellum circle. Now the thing that I did that Rachel didn't do was I added some, some splatters. Just taking my marker and flicking it um, added that little I don't know, it took away a little of the starkness. It just made it a little bit more me. So that made these beautiful cards, right? And then I used, let's see, the designer series paper and the circle label that came with, and it's kind of a wood grain look. Can you see that? Um, now the ink spot was cherry cobbler and I stamped all of mine in cherry cobbler. Uh, but use this label, the piece of designer series paper, a few of the pine, and then just tied a knot in the twine to make this little decoration here. Made that so pretty. And actually, this is a better example because the circle actually looks better when it's lined up with the designer series paper and not the edge of the card. I haven't even shown you the stamp set, but let me do that. Already very well loved. But this is the stamp set that came with this month's paper pumpkin. So I had a beautiful Merry Christmas to you and yours. Here's to a Christmas filled with love, laughter, and all you wish for. A star, a pine branch, um, happy holidays, merry and bright, and then it's the most wonderful time of the year, and a for you stamp as well. Then for the next set, let's see, make sure I got this right. Okay, so for the next set, this is actually the liner from the envelopes. So how clever was that? So you need to add a pack of vanilla envelopes for your 40 cards. They come in a pack of 40 and you need all 40 
to go with these cards because you use the envelopes to cut them up to make some of these cards. So this little vellum piece was in the kit. This is the other half of that label that was um, included and then some of the pine branches as well. Now I added Stella to my pine branches on these. You know, I like Stella. I like a little bit of bling. So I added Stella to, actually I added it to all of my pine branches. And then here's the other card with this. I love, I love this. The ribbon goes around the card layer, which I'm typically not such a fan of, but this is not a real heavy ribbon, so it, 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 it will, will mail quite nicely. Um, and then here's the, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I think this is just beautiful. And then this one uses the other designer series paper piece that was included and the white side, the reverse side of the pine branch. And I added shimmer paint to them. So those wine white <laughs> pine branches have lots of shimmer to them as well. And some of the sequins. Now it didn't have enough sequins. In fact, my kit actually was short a pack of the small sequins. So I just added metallic sequins um, to mine and I um, flicked some cherry cobbler um, from my marker on that. And then this one uses the larger label from the supplies. Again, the reverse side of the pine branches and half a piece. This is actually half of the paper right here. Just the paper was cut in half, one for this card and one for this card. And the last one, I just love this. So this is actually what you, it looks like an envelope folded over, but it's, it's not, but it uses that flap of the envelope and opens this way. And you can, of course, stamp a sentiment on the inside. And before I mail some of mine, I probably will stamp some sentiments, um, some greetings in there. And then I just love the way this twine wants to curl. And then the last design opens this way as well, but has the card a little off center and then adds this, the greeting, Merry Christmas to you and yours. So those were 10 cards that become 40. I feel like some magic infomercial, right? Um, beautiful, just following the directions out of the out of the box, if you will. Here's the instructions that come with Paper Pumpkin, right? There's actually a, um, a group on Facebook that provides alternative projects every month. And I sometimes wait to see what the alternatives are. And if they're straightforward like these, I might do them. But I don't want to get too elaborate. That's not my style. So here's how you turn 10 cards into 40. That's how I did it, basically following Rachel's instructions. So um, I'll, I'll end this for now, but I do want to add a couple of things. So there is a new postcode right now. Let's see where it has gone. Okay. Um, I've lost my postcode. Where did it go? For the love. Okay, somehow I lost my host code. So let me show you. Here is the link to sign up for Paper Pumpkin. And I'll add the host code into the comments because somehow I managed to erase that from my list. And then I want to also offer you a special. If you place an order with me between now and um, January 2nd, you can still order from the holiday catalog during that time. And I'll post some of my favorites from that catalog that are retiring or are or are on special so that you can get the most, uh, take advantage of the, the largest discount possible because we all love a special and it's almost after Christmas. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching my videos, sharing my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos. I appreciate you coming to my class and I appreciate your business. I love spending that time with you and creating. I hope to see you in 2019. Uh, to take advantage of this 20% off, you do need to contact me. So um, my contact information is, I'll add that to the, um, the top of the video as well with the host code that seems to have disappeared. And um, I hope you have a very blessed week. 
a very blessed Christmas. I wish you blessings in the new year. I'll be back with some other fun ideas, last minute ideas. And if, if, if a gift certificate would help you out, I would love to offer a gift certificate on your behalf. Just reach out to me and um, I can email that if we can't get it delivered in time. And if you want to run by, if you need some gift card holders, I've got plenty and I'd love to help you with that as well. Everybody have a fantastic day. I'm going to get busy addressing my Christmas cards and um, putting away the, tr the, the Christmas decorations boxes that are still out. And you'll still need to find the stocking holders. And, um, but I've got some crafting that I want to do as well. I'm dying to get into the Occasions catalog. I have some pre-order products. And I might even sneak in a video or two of those projects. Everybody have a great Saturday. And I'll see you soon.